Over the last several years, I have become very, very concerned and frightened by the significant increase in anti-Semitism around the world and certainly also in our own country. When they said the Jews will not replace us, that bothered me. And what bothered me even more, that there were no consequences to any of those people afterwards. The public has to react. It's all dangerous. You have to speak out against it. I hope some days people grow up and just throw away that bitterness and treat people, every and each one, at the same level. Skills used to survive in the Holocaust do indeed also apply in everyday life today. The acts that I saw started with trivial small items. There was a sign on the park bench that said, this bench is not for Jews. It didn't take long for those acts to grow into gas chambers. The thing that I think society should learn is that bigotry, racial hatred can't be tolerated even at the very beginning. I think you have to be informed what's going on, know your resources. I survived and the reason was that my parents had a close friends, a Christian family. Man of the family, uh, Dr. Schultz, he was the chief uh, judge in our city. He had information when they were going to come and pick up the Jewish people in town. And he had a way to inform us in advance. Later on, I mean, I figured it out over the years that there was a problem also on, on the part of the Jewish community. We were very insulated. We did not really understand the, the, the value of mingling with other people around us. And that was a big mistake. Overall, the people from the world should care for each other. I don't care what domination you are. I care for humanity. Beyond that, I think each and every one of us needs to take a stand. I also recommend to students I speak to that they attend town halls that are sponsored by Congress people and U.S. Senators to make our voices heard. We need more empathy in the world. The goal is to reach out and share our common values. Well, my advice would be to our Jewish people in this country, please get out of your house and look for other people and befriend them. They are no different from us, and I think it would be a very healthy thing for us. Home you meet and you want to talk to them. Very important. I have a lot of hope and a lot of faith in our country. I feel pretty uh, good about our future here. Even though with what's going on, we need to be aware of it. We need to be a little bit uh, cautious. We need to keep our eyes and ears open. I think we have to have hope. We've got some amazing people out there. I am very glad that the Anti-Defamation League has stood up and confronted these hate groups that exist in our country. We've got a lot of strengths in this community, in this country. So I recommend bring your talents and let's together work on this world and make it a better, safer place.